Good afternoon and welcome to another fine afternoon evening in Rosendale, Wisconsin at the Winnebago RC Flyers Club. Uh, today's run is going to feature an engine that I ran, I don't know, several months ago when it was cold and that's my Sato FA-150S engine. Now this is one of the early versions, the original because it's even a letter A stamped on there so this is one of the early versions has got this long exhaust on it. So today's run is just going to be a warm weather run with a Zor 17.8 prop, a Sato P2 plug, and some approximately 7 to 10 percent nitro fuel. And I'm just running this engine just because I feel like running it. So let's see what happens with it. Okay, now I cannot recall how well this thing takes a prime, or at this moment, which direction the throttle is. So let's find out. Oops, that's not the one I wanted to pull off. Okay, so that's full throttle. That's where I want to prime it. Oh yeah, it took a prime. Close that throttle up. Well, it's not popping over, so maybe it didn't get enough of a prime. interesting. That is very interesting. It just totally detonated there. Now I'm going to have to shut the camera off and tighten this up. Okay, so that was interesting. I've retightened the prop. I'm not sure what was wrong. There was the needle valve was open two full turns or at least a turn and a half. Let's go one, two, and a half. Let's start there. And full throttle, prime. Really wet. Let's see if we can get that nice start again here. Now it blew itself into a no compression. Now I haven't disassembled this engine. <coughs> so <coughs> there might be an internal issue with it. I'm not entirely sure. But
Okay, guess that's what happens when you lean it out too much. Okay, so let that be a lesson to you. Not all engines are the same. Not all Sato engines are the same. And let me explain why I'm saying that. This engine seemed to take need a lot of prime to get it fired up. Now it's been months, but still that shouldn't that should be no excuse. And either I wasn't getting it primed enough or I don't know what. It seemed like he was getting primed a lot. The Sato FA220A that I have, which is the largest single cylinder engine that Sato has made, takes a lot of prime also. So those are two similarities. And I've seen some OS engines that barely take a prime at all and they'll run and start up fine. However, this is an engine that you don't want to screw around with because when it gets too lean, exactly what happened, what you just saw happen, can happen. Now I was running my 220A last week and I was leaning it out to the point where it was starting to drop RPM and it was not knocking and it certainly never uh, detonated like that and threw a prop, luckily. So either, you know, that's probably just attributed to the design or the timing, maybe the cams uh, shape, I don't know. All I know is this is the original 150S and this was an aggressive engine. Now, did they tone it down in later years? I'm not sure, because they did come out with the 150, not the, you know, and just the, uh, just the standard 150. The difference between an S and a 150, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's a little bit gentler timing. Maybe it's a little bit lower compression ratio. I'm not really sure. All I can say is, you saw what happens if you piss one of these things off and you lean it out too much. Now, I was lucky enough that obviously I could find my prop. It's got a little bit of a ding in it, which sucks because uh, I really like this prop. I was able to find the spinner nuts. I had a double locking nut on there, not a stock Sato one. I have not found the prop washer yet. I'm going to spend another few minutes looking around for the prop washer, but I can say effectively that this run is over and just be advised that you don't want to go leaning these engines out, at least certain engines, especially this 150S, out too much, or you could be in for a big surprise. Now, if somebody had been in front of this prop, in front of this engine, we could have an issue. So, all I can say is, you know, sometimes that kind of thing happens, and I was pushing the envelope and leaning it too much, and that's what happened. So, enjoy, and I hope you learned something.